Kid Ben shall the bring on my spit as bad as I should watch out for a mousetrap. the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress!
Aelfirth's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> I 
I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. What would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Set to meet him at an alehouse nearby. God.
yourself. Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she is tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death. Yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arib do exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much stared in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Abel. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report.
to get on the other side. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them. So they are not frightened before they make God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. What about the Bishop Aelferth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Layoff? Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. My brother Aelfa, eternal. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. Lord, grant my brother Aelfa eternal bliss. 
Only his head and neck are burned. Is this what Wemper meant? That they stole his friend's face? And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aylfirth was a brute. Threadbare clothes. Did they belong to Wemper's friend? This funeral is a shadow play. The order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Eelfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs. And no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards, protect me! Ah, Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfirth is dead, and we mourn him. The foul deeds of the unrighteous are
sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elphirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. This 
must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Must be blocked from the other side. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. 
Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond a saving. Your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. Turn to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one.
I cleared Winchester of the order, yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. I have to go. Then go in peace. 